So like I said that uh, both God and the devil uses doors Se to allow movement or to restrict movement. Se mataura ndai ta kuti Satan ina mwari vese vanoshanza musiwo kutendera kana kurambidza kufamba. You look at the Old Testament. Ukatara Testament ya kare. If you look at the tabernacle that God instructed Moses to build. Ukatara tembere ya kanzi na mwari Moses avake. You find that it had three compartments. Ushaona uti yanga ine zvikamu zvitatu. It had the outer court. Yanga ine chekunze. Where everybody comes. Vanga pachitende kwa munhu wese. Everybody comes. Munhu wese. And then what separated the outer court and the inner court chai patsanura chikamu chokunze nechomukati was a door wanga uri musuo in the inner court chikamu chomukati not everybody is allowed there mamsi gatenderu wemunhu wese only the priest and kwa, the high priest kwango tenderu wamapirisita chete nomukuru wamapirisita were allowed to enter through the door to the inner Court. And uh, in the inner court, the priests were there to minister to the high priest. Preparing him to go to another compartment where the priests were not allowed. It was only the high priest who was supposed to move to the holy of holies. So part of the theological lesson in that tabernacle is that God was showing his people that in life you have to move from one level to the other. Mwari waiza makuti ratidza kuti muupenyu unofanira kufamba kuchibva pachimwe chinano chienda pane chimwe. You might have come and you are in the outer court. Unogona wauya uri kuchikamu chokunze. But there are still some other courts to be taken. Pane zvimwe zvikamu zvekutora. You are supposed to make progress from the outer court Uno... to the inner court but don't end there. Move until you get to the Holy of Holies. Unofandra kuramba uchifamba uchinda mberi kubva kune chekunze opinda chomukati usamire ipapo enda mberi nokuti kune chimwe chinano. So every Christian is supposed to move from one level of glory to the other. Mu Kristu wese anofandra kufamba achibva pachinano chekubwinya chenda pane chimwe. But as you are trying to move from the outer court to the inner court you are going to face a door. Pauchaza makufamba uchibva kunze uchipinda mukati uchasangana nomusuo. That is going to ask you questions. Richakubvunza mubvunzo. Whether you are authorized to be in the inner court or not. Kuti une mvumo here yekupinda mukati uchibva kunze. And to move from the inner court to the holy of holies, you are also going to find a door or a curtain. Which will also ask you questions. Whether you are the right person to enter into the Holy of Holies. And in answering those questions, the door will either be open for you or they will say you are not the right person. But I want you to know that the finished work of Jesus Christ has opened all doors for you to go into the Holy of Holies. So you are going to make progress from today. Because that is the will of God for you. God does not want you restricted in one place. He wants you to make progress. He says the path of the just is like a shining light that shines more and more more 
unto a perfect day. The Bible talks of us moving from glory to glory. From grace to grace. From one level of favor to another. You will make progress today. I say you will make progress today. People that saw you yesterday, when they see you tomorrow, it will be a different you. Because there is a certain door that was closed that is going to be open for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those that are closed by God. Alright, maybe before I rush them. So these three levels of advancement in life is also what we see in the life of Jesus Christ. The first 30 years Jesus was living like an outer court kind of life. Because the door to the inner court was not yet open. So that door was not closed by the devil. That door was closed by God. And for 30 years, not so much was heard about him. Because a certain door to allow him to a better level was not yet open. And that was a door that was closed by God himself. Why did God close that door for him for 30 years? Because he was supposed to satisfy some uh, 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 spiritual demands that will allow him or qualify him to another level. And unless those demands were satisfied. Jesus was not going to move to another level. And what was that? What was the key? What was the key to open this door? So that he can move from the outer court to the inner court. The key was the key of obedience. How Jesus submitted himself to a man that he created. And when he went to John the Baptist to be baptized. A man that he created. For all things were made by him. And without him was nothing made that was made. Including John the Baptist. He was made, he was created by Jesus. But the door for Jesus to move from the outer court to the inner court was, uh, was closed and the key required was the key of obedience and humility. And John. 30 years Jesus did not submit to anybody and the door remained closed but at the 30th year Jesus began to say I can be on earth forever 
Jesu akati do kwanza kuvapanyika makore ose. And not fulfill my destiny. Doreka kuzadzisa ramangwa na. What should I do? What is the key to move forward? Chiko chinodiwa kuti ndiende mberi. I have to go where others are going. Do fandira kuenda kuri kuenda vamwe vanhu. To John the Baptist. Kuna John ano babatiza. The whole city was going to John the Baptist. Kuti rose raenda kuna John kuno babatiza. Except Jesus. Kunze kwa Jesu. Probably because he knew that I am the son of the living God. I met everybody. I created everything. I cannot submit to something that I have created. I'm just thinking aloud. I don't know. But when nothing happened for 30 years. Baka unota pana chakaitika kwa makumi matatu. He then said I will go where others are going. Ndo baka zotire gandiende kurukuenda vamwe. And everybody was being baptized by John the Baptist. Munhu wese wai baptizwa na John. And when he went to John the Baptist. Baka enda kuna John ano baptizwa. John looking at Jesus coming. John Agatara Jesu achuya. By the prophetic eye. Nama ziso ye chiporofita. He said to the congregation. Agatukunea waka mkorombeza. Behold the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Tarirai mwone kwa ya naramari ili runotora zivi. Everybody was looking at John. Munu wese anga katara John. But when Jesus come. Asi Jesu achuya. John told everybody kuti your attention is not supposed to be at me anymore John akataura vanhu vose kuti chirega yekutarira inini The lamp of God that taketh away the sins of men is come Kwayana rinotora zviri zvenyika yose rauya Everybody look at Jesus Chitarira Jesu He is the lamp Die kwayana that take away the sins of men Rinotora zviri zvavanhu while least everybody was looking at Jesus. Because John was, was telling them. Even, even as he was doing his work. He was telling them. I baptize you into water. But there is one that is coming. And this one who is coming. Is greater than me. Look at the humility that made John to be such a great man. So great that even Jesus say of all men who were born of men. There is none that is greater than John the Baptist. Wanga wakakura zvekuti Jesu wakati hapana munhu akazvarwa nomukadzi akakura kudarika John Jesus what are you saying Jesu muri kuti kudiko We don't know anything about John Hatizivi chinhu nezva John Except dipping us in water Kunze kuti ano babatidza kuvhura We have got Elijah Tina Elijah who called the fire to come down Aidana moto What are you talking about Muri kuti kudiko We have got Elisha Tina Elisha who made a a woman who was barren all her life to have a child. John does not have all these works. Tina Elisha, I can't doubt you. Munas, kabereke, kabereke. How come you are saying John by just dipping people into water is greater than all men who were born of a woman? Munorewe, imujiti John diye mukuru no muda bongo babati zavano mumvura chete. The reason was. John had the humility that they didn't have. John wanga unekuz mini pizza wanga sina. Even as he was dipping them in water, panga jiba babatiza mumfura. He was not taking the glory. Anga zinga tori kupi. He was saying, I am just a forerunner. Anga jingo ti ini diruku. There is one greater than me. Diruku tunga mira pane mukuru kwa diri. Who is coming? Ariku uya. Don't be so. Taken away by what I'm doing. I'm just making a way for a greater one who is coming. This one is greater than me. You call me great. I say no. There is one that is greater than me. He says his shoes. I am not even worthy to untie his shoes. When he comes, he will not baptize you in water. To show the difference. Ah.
Oh yes. Yeah. To show the difference. I am baptizing you in water. But the one who is coming is going to baptize you in the Holy Ghost and with fire. <laughs> yes, sir. John knew that when Jesus came. He is going to baptize people in the Holy Ghost. But he never one day preached a message of the Holy Ghost and fire. So that he can take what is supposed to be done by Jesus to himself. Hey! He never one day Anna said, fire, fire, fire. Uh -uh. He moto. left that for his master. He was content in baptizing them in water. Yet he knew that this is not the ultimate baptism. The ultimate baptism is the baptizing of the Holy Ghost and Five. He said, I will not touch that one. I leave it for my master. And he was telling everybody who was saying, John, you are great. He was saying, you have never seen greatness. I am just making a way for greatness. Greatness is coming. Preaching God, preaching God. That is what made Jesus say of all men born of women. There is none greater than John the Baptist. Why? Because though the whole city has come to him, he is not saying I'm the biggest preacher. He was humble. And when Jesus came to his church, he told this congregation those that have come to him. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of men. In other words, everybody's attention to Jesus. Not me. Not me, O God. But unto you be all the glory. He said, I will decrease so that he can increase. So Jesus comes. Jesus ano uya. When he come. Pa ano uya. John has made that statement. John ya taura so ya taura. And Jesus went to him. Jesus of us we kakwa. Say John. Oh but John. I've come here. Nda uya pa ano. So that you can baptize me. Kuti undi pa baptize. John said eh. John aga di my way. Me baptizing you. I ni ku pa baptize I me. He said yes. He said no, 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 no. It is me that you are supposed to baptize. And Jesus Christ said, Jesus over art. Allow it to be so for now. So that all righteousness can be fulfilled. And John said, Jesus, you don't understand. For me to baptize you, it means that you are going to kneel down in this water. Before me, Jesus Christ said yes. Jesus Christ said yes. John says we cannot do this. And Jesus Christ said, for thirty years, 
Kwa makore makumi matatu. I have not made any mark. Andina chanda tinda itashinone. Yet in me. Asimandiri. Is the potential to save the whole world. Mune simbare kwanza kut. And the heaven is still closed against me. And I know that if I do this, all righteousness will have been fulfilled. And when John accepted, John and Jesus knelt down before John. Jesus vavuga mapambere pa John. Oh lie down before John. Akavavata pambere pa John. John held Jesus and dipped him in water. John akabata Jesus akamunyudza mumvura. The Bible says and the heaven opened. Vai pero varati denga rakavhurika. Hey! And the heaven opened. Zvikanzi denga rakazaruka. And the Holy Ghost came down upon Jesus like a dove. And rested upon Jesus. And a voice came from heaven. This is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. So I want you to see that when a door is closed by God it requires spiritual keys to open it. And the key that he, Jesus used was the key of Humility. Obedience. Humility, my daughter. Humility, my son. And obedience. You never lose by being humble. Humility is not stupidity. Humility is wisdom, is spiritual wisdom. And there are some doors that will never open until the key of humility and obedience is used. When Jesus humbled himself before John, it never took away the fact that he was greater than John. John. In fact, those that are great by humbling themselves to those that are not great. So you can be where you are right now, stuck there. Because you lack humility and obedience. You can check yourself right now. Where am I? In as far as humility and obedience is concerned. Is there anybody that I hear? Is there anybody that I respect? Or I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Nobody tells me anything. If you are like that, my sister, you might be stuck with the potential of Jesus in you for 100 years. You might die like nobody that never carried anything to offer to their world because of lack of humility. The Bible says that God exalts the humble 
Bible wrote mwari unosimudza vanozvitsikisa and resist the proud konzi unoramba vanozvikudza so you can be resisted by god unogona kurwiswa na mwari until you take the key of humility kuzvika wawana key dzekuzvidzikisa and obedience nokuterera and use it to move from the outer court kuti uve pachikamu chekunze to the inner court uchipinda mukati There are ladies that will never get married no matter what you do. Pane vanhu kadzi vasingazombororwe zvachose. Beautiful as they are, vakanaka saizvozvo. But they lack this key. Asi avana isumbunuro of humbling themselves. Yokuzvidzikisa pasi. They lack it. Avana They are called manager at their workplace. Vanonzi mukuru kubasa kwavanoshanda. And they think everywhere they go they are the boss. Vanova vafunga kuti kwese kwavanoenda vakuru. And for your own information. Kana uchida kuziva. If you don't know how to humble yourself before you a man. Kana usingakwani zvikuzvidzikisa pa pere pemurume. Amen. Wo mukudza murume. You are not a candidate for marriage. Aungarorwe zvachose. You you will have to be which man to use satanic means to get a man. Unofanira kutomujikisa kana kumuroya kuti umwane. You cannot get him from God. Aungawana anobva kuna mwari. Because the law of marriage of opening the door of marriage to a woman is that Wives submit yourselves to your own husband as unto the Lord. Mutemo wa mwari we wanano kukumkadzi ndiyo kuti mukadzi zvidzikise pasi. Roba mawoko iwewe 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 sikazivi chino chinodzi murume nyatsoroba mawoko I'm giving you a key right now. Clap your hands I'm giving you wise counsel. You should learn. Unofanira kudzidza to honor kuremekedza to respect kukudza and to put yourself under nokuzviisa pasi your husband murume wako this thing of i know it all is rekuti ndoziva zvose i google it in internet ndakazvitarira pa internet you are getting you are getting messages and teachings from women who are not even married and they are they are the one that are feeding you You end up not being married like them. Urikuona dzidziso neo uchenjeri kuvakadzi vanonyora pa internet vasina kutomborora. Me hear it from me. Zvinzwe kubva kwandi. I am a man. Ndiri murume. I know what men want. Ndinoziva zvinodiwa navarume. No matter how beautiful you are if you don't show respect. Murume nyango wakanaka sei ukashaiwa kukudza. If you don't humble yourself before a man. Ukasa zvidzikisa pamberi pomurume. Yes sir. I, I want I want to give you the whole counsel of God. Ndoda kupa ikuziva kose. And everybody is going to be covered. Muno wese achange aka. So I am on you. Nasi ndiri pauri. Who is always say pastor pray for me. Ano garage ngoti mfundi dzina matire. And what is the reason for prayer? I want a husband. Chikonzero zvekuti kuti ndoda murume. Now this thing does not answer just by prayer. Israel zvingo pindurwa ichete nauti pana matwa This thing needs a key Zvinoda key of humility yokuzvidzikisa of respect yokukudza And there are some of you when after getting married and we have celebrated the wedding that's the end of your respect Vango venyu takuna matira imachata Don't forget that there are millions of people who are eyeing your husband. Pane zana nozuru zvama million zvakatarira murume wako. Don't forget that the day they hear you the husband has moved away or 
though your demons have moved you away they are going to come grabbing from everywhere vaka mirira kuti vangonzwa chete kuti madimona akubvisa vamhanyire ipapo paanga uri tell your neighbor don't forget daurira ari paduze ne hoti usakanganwa tell them we also want him don't forget tose to muda usakanganwa oh glory to god hallelujah mm Mm. 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 Asiti mwanangu kuti mchitaura na nhumbe so. Nhumbe otaura. Ne otaura. Otaura. Ne otaura. Otaura wewe dzera volume. Otaura wotanga kusimuka. Otaura wotanga kufamba uchitaura. Uchitaura taura so uchitaura taura. There is no man who can stand that. Hakuna murumano mirira izvozvo. Ukaona achiri newe, ari ku respect ai nini? Hacha respect iwewe. Ukaramba newe. Hakuti mfundi ndinonyari ndinoenda ku munhu ngadzidze, ngadzidze kuti ukanzwa baba vachinja magiya. Ba kupinda muma emotions. Unozodzora unoenda pasi. If a wife hears that the Husband's voice is loud. It's Yours not, should be low. It's not foolishness. Akusi kupusa. It's being biblical and being spiritually wise. Kuva kuvandi kufambira namagwaro nokuchejera. And in your humility that's where the beauty of a woman is. Mukuzvidzikisira kwako ndo mukunaka kwomukadzi. The beauty of a woman is not in deep zona. Kunaka kwomukadzi akusi mumafuta. Oh your hairstyle. Kana mubvudzi. Oh your stiletto. Kana mushangu. Oh your slender walk. Kana mumuviri wako. The beauty of a woman. Kunaka kwomunukadzi. Is that quiet and a meek spirit. Kunyarara nomwe yakuzvidzikisa. It is of great honor. priceless priceless that is priceless that's where the beauty of a woman is kuzvidzikiza nokuva nemweya wakanyarara ndo urunako rwemunhukadzi you are preaching my father you might not have any shape unogona usina zvinodiwa that they require in the beauty contest yavanoda ikoko kurunako kuti uye so wangosokoda iso nezvitepe rako risinga come with your shapeless body but uchi gona kuzvinini pisa as uchi gona kuzvidzikisa unogona kuya usina kana mari ye hairstyle you might not have money to buy those expensive hairstyles Une dumbu rakadai so uri ka round so kambe kamwe ka buzz so kanongoskoya but murume wako asingagoni ne buzz rake Hey 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 Bani vachi bvunza kuti nai mai nai baba maone hai baba People will be asking what have you seen in here Loko raya kuna mai ava ndiko kwanda I will kill you Because my ino ziba ku pressa ma button emurume. The wife knows to press the right buttons. Yes sir. Hey. My ino ziba ku pressa button. This lady knows how to treat the husband. Many of uh, our young girls vamwe vedwa skana vadoko. Unfortunately because They, they never had a father who can teach them Avana, what a wife is supposed to be like Avana kuona baba vanovadzidzisa kuti mukadzi anofanira kuita sei Hapana mukadzi anonzi akaipachiso There is no ugly lady Kana shape kana chi Body or face Kuipa kwemukadzi The ugliness of a woman Kurumumoyo is in the heart Pride Kuzikudza That's where the ugliness is. I'm a pastor. I counsel people who are not so what, what hey is this a person? But when they come say they don't know. 
wife, go back to your husband and humble yourself. 